Hi, it's Fab Polly here. Welcome back to BizJet TV. In today's episode, we're going to be talking all about head up display. And, and if you're not an aviation person, you may think, what is head up display? Well, it's, a, it's an instrument in the cockpit which will improve flight safety quite a bit. Uh, we'll get into that in a minute. If this is your first time on the channel, uh, welcome to BizJet TV. Uh, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Lots of content on business aviation. Also, have a look around after you've watched this episode and see the other content that we've got here. Uh, and I'm sure you'll find a lot of value. And please comment below at the end of, the, of this video and also give us a thumbs up. So let's get straight into today's episode, head up display. What is head up display? Now, basically, as you know, in a cockpit, there's instruments which the pilots follow in order to fly the aircraft safely. And then obviously you've got the windscreen where they look outside. So what they did back uh, in, the, in the day, they developed this head up display, making the information, well, basically making the information on the instruments available and projected onto the windscreen, allowing the pilots to be also looking outside while they're also looking at the speed, the, the vertical descent, the heading and all that kind of stuff and all other related information that can be displayed on the windscreen. So that's basically what it is. You probably may have seen this now being introduced in Audi and Mercedes and other car manufacturers. They're now displaying the instruments that you have on your dashboard in your car onto the windscreen. Well, this has actually come from first from military aviation, then gone into civilian aviation. Not many airlines have the head-up display, but uh, a number of private jet manufacturers have introduced the head-up display. Now, why is this important when you're buying a private jet? And I know a lot of you, you know, you're buying a private jet is all you're, you're worried about is the range, does it look good, and the interior. But the equipment that your pilots have up front is very, very important because, you know, your safety could depend upon that. Now, Flight Safety Foundation did a study on 983 accidents, and they discovered that uh, in 38% of these cases, the accidents could have been avoided if the aircraft had been equipped with head-up display and the pilots had been trained to use it effectively. Uh, if you look at landing and takeoff cases, 69% of the cases, the accidents could have been avoided um, if the pilots had had head-up display. Now, you may have seen the movie with Tom Hanks about the landing on the Hudson of the, of the Airbus 320 that happened a few years ago. Now, that accident where just after takeoff, they hit a flock of geese and both engines uh, uh, flamed out and caught fire and they had to land in the Hudson and they made the landing successfully. Uh, that is very interesting. That accident could have been avoided if the airplane had been equipped with head-up display because the pilots would have been looking outside, they would have seen the geese. In fact, it's interesting to see that the studies that they've done on this is that the human eye is capable of spotting a geese at a mile of a distance. But, you know, bear in mind that this airplane is flying at, you know, 200 plus knots. Um, this thing is approaching the airplane and the pilot has basically 10 seconds to move the flight path away from the bird. So it's important that the pilot's looking outside, but very often both pilots are looking inside because uh, they're looking at the instruments. In particular, if you're coming, uh, you know, you're taking off in bad visibility or coming down to land, um, as you can see, it's, it's very, very useful. You can see on the left-hand side, you see the, um, the EVS, uh, which is the enhanced vision system. And on the right, the approach is done without the EVS and you can see the difference. Now, uh, we're going to be going into a presentation now here made by Captain Dean Schwab from Rockwell Collins. And he's going to be explaining on how this works and, and showing an approach into Innsbruck, which is in the middle of the mountains. And I've flown in there a few times with a private jet. And when the weather's bad, it's tricky. It's even tricky when the weather's good. But as you'll see from this, you'll see how convenient uh, this is. So let's get into uh, Dean's presentation on the Rockwell Collins uh, head-up display. Hi, I'm Dean Schwab, and I'd like to take a few minutes here to show you how easy and intuitive it is to fly a Rockwell Collins head-up guidance system. We're flying an approach into Innsbruck, Austria. It's a uh, airport located in mountainous terrain. It can be a challenging approach because it's a steep approach and it's to runway 26 and I'm using the head-up guidance system and I am following the flight path which is the circle with the wings and the uh, vertical tail on it and then it's following the uh, guidance cue or I'm overlaying the circle on top of the circle the big circle on the little circle it's a very intuitive display it's easy to fly and off to the left I have an inertia carrot which is uh, 
giving me the uh, energy state of the airplane and I use it along with the speed error tape on the left wing to fly a very precise airspeed. And I'm going to go to the approach mode now and we're going to start the descent here momentarily when we get our glide slope fully captured and in place. Okay, so I am flying essentially straight and level right now and then we'll start the descent here momentarily once we get our glide slope deviation scale aligned to its, its proper position. So I've got the synthetic vision out there and it's giving me um, a very clear picture of uh, what the terrain would look like if I were in the clouds. I would be able to actually see where the terrain is and obstacles. Now I have my radio altimeter and it's starting its uh, countdown. So I have all the instruments that I would have head down, head up for me. So I can keep my eyes out the window and the flight path keeps my eyes trained on the touchdown position, my uh, touchdown target. So when I get to the uh, decision height, I have virtually no transition time required. My eyes are already where they need to be to make the decision to land. This type of uh, guidance system, this head-up display, makes flying a very enjoyable process. It's, uh, it's very, very uh, fun to be able to fly these kind of approaches. So we're coming up on 500 feet here, and if I were flying a Category 3 approach, that's where the approach monitoring would start, which is even tighter tolerances to allow us to go to the Category 3 minima. So we just got our flare armed, so it's going to give me guidance for flaring when I get down close to the, uh, to the runway to help me transition the airplane into a ground vehicle. So again, I'm keeping the big circle right over the little circle, which is our guidance cue. So we're starting our flare capability. There's our flare guidance. It's going to touch me down. And then we go into the rollout guidance mode, so it helps me stay on the center line in low visibility. Got our brake energy, our deceleration from our energy carrot, and we're bringing the airplane to a stop. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope that explained how the head-up display works and how important it is to have head-up display in your airplane. Um, it's just going to improve safety, uh, make life easier for the pilots, uh, you know, reduce the workload and you know, all those factors and flight safety is really, really important. Um, a lot of private jet owners aren't really focused on this. And I've said this a number of times um, here on BizJet TV, you know, the importance of selecting the right pilot, the importance of paying them the good money um, and also the, the importance of, of rostering them so that they do have time off and they can plan that time off. Uh, this is so important. You know, what pilots do when they're not flying will affect their performance. Um, and this is so important, but also the equipment that you have on your jet is important too. Don't go cheap on the equipment. And if you've got modern equipment and you can fit head up display on an older airplane, uh, obviously it's going to cost some money. Uh, but as uh, some pilots I was talking to the other day, um, they were flying out of an airport in Florida and uh, they were following the head up display and they spotted these vultures um, and they managed to avoid uh, these vultures. And uh, one of the pilots says, he said, you know, just that incident um, paid for the head up display because you know if these birds hit the aeroplane whether they hit the engine or another part of the aeroplane it's going to cost you a lot of money not only is your aeroplane going to be down for some days or maybe weeks or months but also the cost of fixing the engine all the flaps or whatever part of the aeroplane that it hits um, it's going to be important so you know to, to stop from hitting objects it's very very useful when you're going into mountainous areas and with bad weather um, so, you know, it, it will allow you to land at certain airports, which you wouldn't be able to land at if you didn't have a head up display. So there's lots and lots of advantages. So, you know, if you are in the market, $20 million to buy a jet, make sure it has head up display because it, you know, it, it could save you a lot of time and a lot of money and keep you a lot safer. So that's all from Fab Poly here on BizJet TV. I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. 
give us a thumbs up, comment below, and I'll see you on the next one.